Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm going to uh, show you how to adjust the float in a Rochester two barrel, two jet carburetor. And at the end of this video, I'll point you to the next uh, two jet video. I have several two jet videos out there and I will be adding more. And uh, if you're interested in seeing more videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the image in the lower right hand corner you'll get alerted whenever I add a new uh, uh, video okay uh, I'll be glad to answer any of your tech questions just leave me a comment below the description and I'll get to it as soon as I can may not be the same day but I, I'm pretty fast and I will answer it, uh, the best of my ability okay I rebuilt my carburetor but it's still flooding do you know what's wrong? I don't know. Maybe you should have bought your parts at Mike's Carburetor Parts. So uh, the two jet, the two barrel, this one, can have one of two carburetors. It has this, uh, this one has a nitrofill, which is not plastic. It is actually nitrofill. It's uh, solid. Uh, it can absorb fuel over time. The only way to test them is to weigh them, and they are weigh weighed in grams. Uh, we're not, uh, we're kind of moving away from the nitrofill uh, whenever we can, whenever they're available. We, we're using the brass. Uh, we found that uh, some of the nitrofills being made now are, don't seem to be holding up to the ethanol. So if you see black flakes at the bottom of your float bowl, that might be the problem. And uh, here's the brass that we uh, can also use for this one. Uh, no, that is not a uh, owie. That's the way they're made. All right, so back to the adjustment. First of all, you put the bowl gasket on. Anytime you take a carburetor part, be sure you replace the bowl gasket. They do have kind of a crush effect when you put them together and and um, if you keep using the old one over and over again, it, it, it's bound to leak at some point. All right, so we're going to measure from the gasket up to the seam here. Now the uh, spec, this one here happens to be three quarters of an inch, but uh, be sure to look at the spec sheet because it varies between automobiles, especially engine size. If you can't find it on the spec sheet, then... Uh, go with the closest spec for your engine size uh, these uh, a lot of uh, rebuilders just set these level as you can see it's it's pretty much level with the float bowl or excuse me with the gasket so you can do that so as I said you measure from here up to the seam now the uh, float drop you got to turn the carburetor right side up uh, what happens is as the fuel in the float bowl goes down, this, this uh, float goes down like this and the needle comes out of the seat. Uh, this one has a little clip on it to help it along. Not all carburetors do, but the two jet normally does. So be sure the clip is on there if you got it in the kit. Right? So the measurement here is again from the gasket down to this seam probably one and a half inches or so okay make sure that the needle is falling down if it's not it may be sticking uh, clean that bite and tip off with some mineral spirits or something like that to uh, get the residue off and I can see it coming down uh, promptly so I think we're okay there uh, to adjust it be sure to take it off the carburetor if you put any pressure on that needle, the bite and tip will be damaged and you'll have a flooding situation. Happens a lot. So take it out. And where you're going to adjust this for the float level is right here. Just bend it right here. Uh, try not to be bending around here where the uh, nitrofill is hooked onto the uh, brass or it could break loose. Okay. This is the float drop adjustment here. Just bend it one way or the other, depending on what you need. And you may have to try this several times to uh, get it just right. Alright, so now onto the brass. 
Here's that little clip I was talking about. And it just mounts right in there. Hold up my finger long enough to get it in here. Okay, be sure to set your float to the spec. Don't try to fudge the float to uh, cover up some problem you're having. Uh, richness, something like that. Set it to spec. If you're having too rich, flooding, whatever, it's probably some other something else doing it, not the float level. Uh, I don't know why people they they latch right on the float level for some reason, but anyway, uh, to measure this one, we're going to measure from the gasket again up to the seam, same spec as the nitrofill. So that was be three quarters of an inch, and that looks good. And the same thing with the float drop. With the float drop, a little bit different night frill. We're going to measure from the gasket to the bottom of the float. And again, make sure, look at your action on the needle. Make sure it looks like it's bright and it's not binding. Make sure the float pin's not binding. Okay, you, you should feel it. Uh, float pins can, can wear out. So, and again, to adjust it, we're taking the float off. All right, and we're going to bend it. Right here, uh, we're not going to we're not going to uh, force it here, or you could break the solder, then you'll have a leak. The float drop is adjusted with this little tab right here. You just bend it, simply bend it with a needle. And that's, that's all you have to do. All right, so you put it back on there and remeasure it, and you're good to go. So <clears throat> let's see. Float drop. Talked about the float drop. All right, so that that's pretty much it. Uh, be sure you visit our website, and we have a lot of hard to find carburetor parts for the two jet. And our website is at mikescarb.com. M i k e s c a r b dot com. Uh, we also have a an extensive extensive knowledge base. Uh, for your, all your carburetor questions, so check that out. It, and that's uh, URL is helpmycarb.com. Helpmycarb.com. Pretty simple. All right. I appreciate your business and I thank you for watching my video.